Welcome to your aviation students. Today we are going to learn something very unique about the aircraft exterior. And the exterior aircraft, exterior of an aeroplane, what kind of things we are having, we would discuss today. Let's start. Okay. For a commercial aircraft, we are having a fuse lodge. This is called as the fuse lodge of an aircraft, a complete fuse lodge of an aircraft. Dear students, other than the fuse lodge, we are having two engines. Most of the aircrafts which are being used in the commercial aviations are having the turbine engine aircraft. There are some other planes, passenger planes, which can be used, which are using the propeller engine. Means to say they are using the turboprop engines. Other than the uh, uh, turbine engines, the turboprop engines would be discussed later on. But, okay, moving forward. Our aircraft looks like this in the lower side. This is called as the vertical tail. This is a vertical tail. And this is called as the horizontal tail. These are the flight control surfaces. These flight control surfaces are like this. This one and this one. These are called as ailerons. These are called outboard ailerons. And there here are here are you're having the inner ailerons. There are few aircrafts which are just having the exterior are outer ailerons but not the inner ailerons but the majority of the aircraft those are having larger flight control surface are having the both interior as well interior as well as the exterior ailerons at the same times the aircrafts are having flaps these flaps are called these flaps are inner flaps and the outer flaps inner flap and the outer flaps these flaps are being employed on different occasions like in the landing and in the takeoff conditions the ailerons these ailerons help the aircraft in taking such kind of turns or rolling the aircraft means to say when the aircraft try to roll in its axis then the pilot use these ailerons these ailerons move in a differential manner asymmetric manner means to say that one aileron goes upward then the ultimately the second aileron would go down but the flaps of the aircraft moves symmetrically other than these things, the aircraft has some other flight control surfaces. These are, here are we are having the spoilers. These are the spoilers 1, 2 and 3, 1, 2 and the 3. These three spoilers are used to spoil the lift. Means to say that when the spoilers are being employed, then the lift is decreased. At the same time, these spoilers are used to decrease the speed of the aircraft. At landing, the spoiler is being used to decrease the speed of the aircraft. Other than the reducing the speed of the aircraft, these spoilers are used to augment the rolling of the aircraft. Means to say, if we are using the ailerons for the rolling purposes at the same time at low speeds the these spoilers would be used as a aileron other than the these flight control surfaces we are having some other flight control surfaces these are the two flight control surfaces which are called as elevators 
these elevators are used for these elevators are used for providing the pitch up or pitch down movement of the aircraft pitching up and pitching down is achieved with the help of these elevators another flight control surfaces surface, surface which is being used with the aircraft is its a rudder this is a rudder of the aircraft which is used to provide the yawing movement of the aircraft on the exterior of the aircraft we are having one two and three doors these three doors and the previous in the present example of the aircraft we are having the airbus 350 example so airbus is having one two three and the four uh, doors on one side and one two three and four doors on the other side dear student Here are the wind screens of the aircraft which are used to look forward. These are the windows of the aircraft which are being used for the passengers to look outside. With this, thank you very much. I think you have got some of the basic ideas related to the aircraft exterior. We will tell you some more information in the coming lectures of our aviation training. Keep watching our videos and don't forget to comment and like our videos. Thank you very much.